So I've got a little package sent to me from the Airbag Man boys. Uh, I've done a bit of work with them before on this rig. I've installed airbags in the rear, plus the onboard air control system here with the compressor and the tank inside. All Schmidt gear, and it's great for towing the van as well. Um, they've sent me this little package today. It's a new product to check out. I'm gonna unbox it, show you what's in there. Uh, all I know is that it's a digital pressure gauge. So, and it's gonna tell me what, uh, how much air pressure's in the airbags while I'm sitting in the car. So anyway, this is it. Neat little packaging, boys. Uh, flip it open, and then inside uh, is a little set of instructions. Uh, we've got left and a right. I'm guessing they're the sensors. Um, there's your display, so you can plug that in in your cigarette lighter socket inside. Um, there's a little tool in there, a little spanner, um, and then here. Oh, this is the tool. Um, for changing the batteries in your sensors. So it comes with a couple of spare batteries and O-rings, and then it also comes with these adapters here. So if you don't want to put it in on your um, inflation valves, you can get a T-piece and actually put it in line uh, in your airline system. So um, that's pretty cool. Then you don't have to take them off each time you want to put air in them if you don't have onboard air control. So anyway, that's what's in the box. Um, let's have a read of these and we'll plug it in and show you how it works, eh? What do you reckon, kids? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah! <laughs> no, let... All right, come on. Come with me, we're going to plug it in. So a quick read of the instructions tells you um, it's pretty easy. All you've got to do is plug this in first, otherwise the sensors won't pair up. So come in here, plug this in. Here we go. It's not saying anything because I uh, haven't got these plugged in yet. Now, it's pretty self-explanatory. I reckon even the missus could do it. It's got a left on it, or an L, and an R. What do you reckon the R's for, dear? <laughs> anyway, we'll go and put these on, and then uh, it should come up straight here. Once they pair, how much air is in them? Come on. So left and right, here's my inflation valves down here. Uh, little Schrader valves on the back. So we'll screw the left one on first. It says in the instructions to do the left one first. Hop out of the way, Bill. Spin him on. There's a little rubber seal in there, so just nip them up to take out any leaks. And then uh, I suppose if you want to run this, something to think about is make sure you space your inflation valves far enough apart. Mine only just make it. And then the right one is on. And um, we'll go and have a look at the gauge. So there we go. We've got 25 pound in both bags. Now, I like this idea because um, I haven't got a gauge in here that tells me how much is in my bag. So if anything ever did go wrong and I blew an airline or a leak or popped the bag, uh, I wouldn't really know unless I was like, I felt it go. So this is pretty cool. One of the features on it is that it's got a high pressure and a low pressure alarm. So it um, comes factory preset with 30 pound or 30 PSI high and five PSI low alarm. So. Um, I'll get one of the kids to drop the bags and I'll show you once it hits below 5 psi this will alarm at you. So pretty cool safety thing plus it's um, just nice to know what's in your airbags eh. So I'll go and show the kids how to do it. So just grab these two and all you have to do when I say go is just push them down okay. Yeah. Practice ready. Go. Stop. Whoa. All right when I say go. All right let's go and check out the low level. Right, Righto Jacko go. Hold them down. Can watch the pressure go down. Here we go, eight, seven, six, five, bang. As soon as it hit four PSI, the alarm goes off. So it's pretty good. And drop them all the way down to zero. And it'll do the same again if you go above 30. So Another handy little function is if you hit one of the buttons here on the left, it'll tell you what your battery voltage is too. So pretty handy, more than one function. And you'll flick it back to your airbags. Pretty cool. And that's it, that's the wireless pressure display or monitor wireless dual digital pressure display check them out can be a cool function to add to your onboard air control or your airbag system in your ute so awesome cheers guys thanks for the prezi